Well, to say wildlife managers with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department were interested in the results of their latest mule deer captures of Wyoming Range mule deer this past March would be an understatement. After a brutal winter in 2016-17, which over 90 percent of mule deer fawns in the region were lost, researchers were encouraged by this past winter. When the memorable winter of 2016-17 finally ended, the Wyoming Range mule deer population was left with high adult mortality and fewer fawns heading into that summer. With fewer animals on the range, that meant less competition for available forage. The result was reflected in the body fat compositions of mule deer does captured last December. This is important. Body fat reserves are what enable these deer to make it through the winter when forage is snow covered and temperatures are often in the sub-zero range. Some comparisons now. In December 2016, does in the Wyoming range began that winter at 6 to 7 percent body fat. When those does were recaptured in March of 2017, those fat reserves were nearly gone, down to 2 to 3 percent. One year later, in December 2017, does began the winter at around 13 percent body fat. And when each of those does were recaptured this past March, researchers recorded average body fat levels at about 5.5 percent. Pregnancy rates and fetal rates were comparable to previous years. 94 percent of animals were pregnant, and most were pregnant with twins. But this year, researchers noted differences in the size of fetuses. 22 percent larger compared to March of 2017. That's another benefit of does going into the winter in good body condition. And another benefit. Research shows that antler size of male deer is influenced more by the health of mothers than genetics. Male fawns born to mothers in good maternal condition grow to be larger deer that exceed the size of their fathers. Annual mortality surveys of the Wyoming Range will occur in May, where biologists will have a more complete picture of how this year's winter impacted the population. But short of a severe spring snowstorm, wildlife officials are optimistic that the Wyoming Range mule deer herd is on a solid path to recovery. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.